All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. And uh, yeah, I wasn't actually going to be doing a beer review or recording one for a little bit, but I was just in the mood for a beer, so I thought I'd pick one out. And one that I was actually saving for a chat that I'm going to do in like a week after uploading this. But today we've got a stout, and this time it's from Sierra Nevada, and it's the stout, which is a West Coast style. And uh, 5.8%. Um, I think it was bottled on the 24th of March 2016. And the best before date is the 24th of March 2017. Comes in a fridge of 50ml bottle. Um, the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, one of my all-time favourite beers. Probably one of my all-time, if not my favourite pale ale. It's one that I can go back to time and time again. Tried a couple uh, more of the Sierra Nevada beers. Um, I tried the Celebration IPA uh, earlier this year, the 2015 version, and I thought that was just brilliant. And then I revisited uh, Torpedo, but I don't think I've done a review of that one. Uh, when I first tried Torpedo, I wasn't a fan. Um, I don't know why. Um, that being said, you know I wasn't really that into craft beer at the time. I was slowly getting into it. But uh, yeah, Sierra Nevada Stout, looking forward to trying this one. Apologies about the appearance, greasy hair. Um, it's this new shampoo that I'm using, not that anybody can even probably pick up on that. Um, I don't know, it's just making my hair go greasy proper quick, and it's annoying me. But uh, yeah, lovely artwork, as always, from Sierra Nevada. Um, we do get a lot of the Sierra Nevada stuff, both back in the UK and here in Germany. Um, I've even seen stuff that I've never seen in the UK here in Germany and vice versa. But there are so many beers that I want to try by them, um, especially like stuff from the Beer Camp series. But anyway, nice label, nice crown to add to the collection. And uh, yeah, let's... I'm getting hops. Nice hop character in there. I'm almost like a, a bitter chocolate of caramel. Let's see what we get when we pour it into the glass. Actually show you it as well. Um, it's a little bit pixely. Um, because of the lighting. So hopefully it comes out okay when it's uploaded. But uh, yeah, beer in a glass. Let me just quickly hold this up to the... That's no, just blinding me. Um, yeah, beer in a glass. That is... Yeah, a nice dark brownie colour with some red issues. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely not a jet black beer. I mean, even when it's in low level light, it doesn't really look too black at all. Just like a nice dark deep brown colour. With about one finger's worth of a khaki sort of brownish fluffy foamy looking head. Um, yeah, it looks like a nice stout so far. So let's see what we get on the aroma in the glass. Well, I get like this roasty, toasty, almost like oaty character in there. I get a little bit of a caramel, a little bit of chocolate, brown sugar. More like along the lines of a dark chocolate. Almost getting like a very slight kirsch sort of aroma as well but yeah it, it sort of smells like actually a slightly boozy and very slightly fruit infused like chocolate milkshake with some nice woody tones in there I am picking up a hop character adds nice bitterness to it and a little bit of like a not necessarily fruity but more of like a piney edge to the beer Picking up coffee as well. That smells really, really good. And I think this is actually quite a highly regarded uh, beer, according to the you know the usual beer rating websites. Um, I've not seen any videos of this yet because um, I know they are. There's loads uploaded, but um, I'll probably end up watching as many as I can after I've uploaded or recorded my video. But yeah, it smells good. It looks good. Let's hope it tastes nice. Cheers. Mm. 
That's lovely. That's a really nice. What am I going for here? It's not the most amazing stout that I've tried. You know, it doesn't really bring anything too unique to the table, which is completely fine. Um, you know, regular viewers know that I review a lot of like German lagers, German Hellers beers, pills, as that sort of stuff. So I don't really, you know, go out of my way to try these unique craft beers, um, even though there are tons that I want to try, especially when I'm back in the UK where I've got a better chance of getting them. You know, stuff like from Omnipolo and a lot of the stuff that Siren are doing and um, that sort of stuff. But this, to me, is a very, very high quality stout. I get a nice coffee character. I get a nice sort of like ginger biscuit character as well in there. You do pick up a little bit of a hop presence there. But I'd say it lifts it a little. As opposed to it tasting hoppy. Uh, when it says it's a West Coast style. You know, you can definitely tell. And that hot bitterness mixed in with that coffee character. Leave a really nice and satisfying, almost smoky character on the back end. But yeah, I'm getting those like dark fruits, going back to that Kirsch sort of characteristic that I picked up. Very warming. Uh, it's got a sense of like dirt to it. It's like a dirty taste in beer. Uh, woody, a little bit piney. You get this chocolate, not really sweet at all. Which is good. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very high quality stout. Um, nothing too exceptional, like I said. Doesn't, you know, bring really anything too unique to the table. <laughs> but very, very solidly crafted. And it, I don't know. That sip then had a little bit more sweetness to it. Not like sugary, fruity sweetness. But sort of like um cake mix. Uh, we made mug cakes recently in the microwave. Um, and it has that sort of like flavour when you taste in the cake batter. And you do sometimes get that hoppy, like West Coast hop characteristic in there as well. But I find it's more in the actual bitterness on the back end. Yeah, very satisfying, very quaffable uh, stout. Um, I can't really pick too many faults from it. We're in, well, we're approaching December now. Nights are getting colder. Um, this is, you know, a winter warmer. Um, and, uh, yeah, very, very solid beer indeed. Another great job from Sierra Nevada. Um, I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 beer. Not by any stretch. But it's sort of like... Because it is relatively inexpensive here in Germany to pick up the core range of Sierra Nevada. You're paying like €2.20, Euros €2.40, Euros that sort of stuff. So if you wanted a go-to American brewed stout, well, for me anyway, in my circumstance um, or situation, this is a really good one to go with. And uh, yeah, they've done a fantastic job. Easily an 8 out of 10 from me. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy the rest of that, take my time with it, enjoy it, and I'll probably get a lot more flavours in there. I mean, it's not been chilled at all, so no flavours have been blocked or anything like that. But I am guess it's one of those beers where it's robust, but it isn't too complex, but I will probably end up tasting something that I've not even you know, put a finger on in this video. But um, yeah, 8 out of 10 beer, another fantastic um, beer from Sierra Nevada. I'd love to try some of their other like special stouts and some of their barrel aged stouts and that sort of thing. Because if they use this recipe as a base, it's one of those ones where you can build on it and you can do a lot of things. Um, I think this would you know, definitely um, work in like a whiskey barrel aged version, like a bourbon barrel aged stout. Um, using this recipe, I think that could you know be something really special. 
So, uh, yeah, if you've tried this beer, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, what's your favourite stout? What's your favourite American stout? What's your favourite beer from Sierra Nevada? Um, yeah, just give me suggestions down below. And, uh, yeah, pick this bottle up from Beretta. So Beretta's link will also be down below in the video description. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to trying as many Sierra Nevada beers as I can in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall hopefully see you in the next video. Cheers.